first tonight, a four-year-old Boone County girl was hospitalized after she ate a THC gummy. Now two people face charges, including the child's own grandmother. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Otley has the details from Boone County Sheriff's Office and what parents should really know to keep their children safe. Some of these THC gummies look just like candy, and that's why experts say labeling them is so important to keep them out of the hands of kids. They're really indistinguishable at times. In Boone County, Major Philip Ridgel says that's part of the problem. In Boone County this week, a four-year-old girl had to be hospitalized after eating one. The edible was left unattended in a room in a small plastic container. Ridgel says the child's grandma, Darlene Schloss, and her brother, Stephen Troxel, were watching her, and they didn't report what happened. Now, they're facing charges. There were two critical facts associated with this case as to why they were charged. The first was the delay in notifying emergency personnel to what was later classified as an overdose by Children's Hospital. The second fact, the girl's obvious symptoms. Deputies found her unconscious, her skin turning gray. The child spent two days in the hospital before she was released. It doesn't take a lot of ingestion of gummies for a young child to have um, significant medical issues. Dr. Chris Peltier says at lower doses, kids might seem intoxicated, but bigger amounts can lead to more serious issues like seizures. A child may not exhibit effects for three to four hours. Experts say prevention is the best strategy. We would have you treat it like you would any other medicine or poison and keep it locked up. In this case, Boone County officials are also investigating the local store that sold it for possibly mislabeling and mispackaging it. Yeah, that's what we have found is that the store took the edible gummy out of its original packaging and cut it into smaller pieces and then individually packaged it themselves. It was unclear the degree of milligrams that she had ingested. Uh, that makes it hard for medical personnel. And for kids just looking for something sweet. If we just simply take the steps of securing it, this wouldn't have happened. If your child ingests THC, even a small amount, experts say, call Poison Control. That number is 1-800-222-1222. In Burlington, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.